Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, well, this is going to be my final video as a Ricky Schneider truck driver. Because the next time you see a video from me, I won't be a rookie no more. Or, uh, don't get me wrong. When I say not a rookie, I mean that's, that just means my first year is done. October 24th, in three days, my first is, is one official full year as an employee with Schneider National. So rookie will no longer be in my title. It's going to be now Schneider Regional Drive In. Uh, Schneider Regional Drive In. Yeah. I don't know, help me, help me with the, the, the name. Schneider Regional Drive-In Driver. Yeah, there we go. Schneider, all right, whatever. Yeah, something along those lines was what it's going to be. Anyhow, let's talk about this week. Hi, you guys are busted. YouTube total on you. I don't look at analytics, but you, the other day I did, and I noticed that 72% of you that are watching my videos are not even subscribed. Come on now, please. If you've seen me more than once, if you watched more than one of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. I mean, it's free after all. Let's get back to the video. This week, I logged out 220, 2,450 miles. Pretty good week because I haven't had a week like that in a while. It's been a couple months because of just a couple of things, actually. Um, I took some time off. And I, that's why I don't like taking, that's why I hate taking time off because it takes, it takes me a while to get back into the groove and get to moving and and when I take time off, it happens to be in like at the end of one pay, the start of another, and then whatever. Um, but this week was solid week, 2450. And um, I have a couple of bonuses popping up here very, very soon. So that helps, of course. And uh, I started this week, I think it was the last video you saw of me. It was a uh, adjusting the trucker life video. And by the way, you guys seem to like that, like those types of videos. So. Uh, I created an entire new playlist specifically for those, and uh, everything will go in there. The trucker, the the uh, uh, the adjusting the trucker life um, videos will go under there. Um, <clears throat> but see, I, I I did I did a um, what is today? Today is the twenty uh, first, right? Yeah, today is Saturday, October twenty first. I just parked in Charlotte. Um, I'm, 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 I can't speak. I can't speak. I don't know why. Um, I just got to Charlotte. As this place is worse than a truck shop today. There's no spots open at all. And, and I got just drop trailers everywhere. Like I'm parked in one of the drive lanes because, well, there's a truck parked on the inside of me. There's empty drop trailers in front of me, like three wide. So I'm just parked here, and maybe tomorrow or sometime this evening, some of this will clear up, and uh, um, I'll get into an actual spot. But being Sunday, it probably won't happen, so whatever. I'm doing my reset here in Charlotte. I get back to work Monday morning, 7 a.m. Uh, of course, I don't know where I'm going to go yet. I don't have the assignment yet, but uh, that's the plan. Um, <clears throat> but I started this week on Sunday, this past uh, last Sunday, and I was in... I was in uh, Punta Gorda, Florida, just north of Fort Myers. And I had to drop, a, I, I dropped off a Niagara load from Jupiter down into, um, in that area. Um, Punta Gorda, it wasn't the actual town that I went to, but that's where I went up parking. I had 20, after I dropped off and loaded off, it was a, a water load to Walmart, DC down there. And, uh, I was, I had 20 hours left on my clock and I was like, find me something else, guy, let me, let me let's go. And my my TL told me, messaged me while I was in transit. Say, there's no more, there's no loads coming out of Florida right now. Go ahead and do your reset. So I went to a pilot about 13 miles away in Punta Gorda, um, and I stayed there at that pilot did my reset. So Sunday morning, this is how bad Florida is, guys. I mean, Florida you can get to no problem, but getting out is a pain in the ass. Like this is not just for owner ops or people booking their own loads who have their own authority because you sometimes you can get out of Florida, but the rates are just so bad. Why would you? They deadheaded me. Empty trailer, 420 miles from Fort Myers, Florida to Port Wentworth, Georgia to get a load, which went to uh, Indianapolis or Plainfield, Illinois, right outside of Indianapolis. 
That just tells you if a mega doesn't have a, a box for you to get out of, out of Florida, then there's something bad down there. They couldn't find anything. They 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 was looking for the two days I was there for my reset. They were looking trying to find me something because they don't want to deadhead me, right? But yeah, I went from Fort Myers, Florida to Port Wentworth, Georgia, 420 miles empty to uh, to get a load. I mean, I get paid the same empty or loaded. It doesn't matter. But uh, that just gives you an, an insight of. Whew, Rates now you got convoys shutting down. You got all these trucking companies shutting down. If you ever watch, I don't know if you watch Mother Trucker News or not. Anybody watch Mother Trucker News? If you don't, go look at this channel. There's, there's all these companies shutting down. Oh, shut up, squatter box. Sorry. There's all these companies shutting down, man. I mean, even brokers are shutting down. Like convoy, of course. Uh, <laughs> considering I had to wait for a load to get out of Florida, or just when I was in Florida. Um, and Southern Florida's not, I mean, Florida's trucker friendly, it is. But Southern Florida, there's not very many truck stops at all. It's It sucks down there. So if you get back up towards Ocala and all that, you're good. But Southern Florida is rough when it comes to truck stops. The industry, I mean, if, if I'm, I'm working for a mega, if I start waiting for a load and they got to stretch me three, 400 miles, then, then that, that tells you something about the industry, right? I mean, come on, man, come on. But also last week, uh, right right when I picked it, right as I was leaving Niagara, if you've ever been to Niagara, Niagara's a water company. It's the great value bottle of water you get at Walmart or wherever. Um, but as I, and it's all automated. You go in, you push a button, you talk to someone, he puts you in a dock, they, they load you up robot, with robots, and then when you go out, it's all automated. You gotta go to the, to the shack there, with a computer, you got to go enter the information. That it'll print your BOLs out for you, and then you got to get we'll grab one of those seals and put it on the truck, and then uh, or put it on the trailer, lock the door up, and uh, then go about your business. From the, from the time I got out of my seat to got back to my truck, my seat was all the way down. So, upon inspection, I thought maybe a hose might have came loose, or my my seat cover might have grabbed that uh, air release valve and, and just lowered it. But no, there was a gas in the side of my airbag, about yay big. Um, these these are our air ride seats, right? So there's an airbag down there. So when I found the hole, I kind of felt it. But as I, where I felt it was behind a um, metal bar, like a frame, the part of the framing of the cage these seats are on. But it was like a sharp edge on that metal. So I just imagined over time that metal just cut through, sliced it up. So I, I was laying, I was sitting on the floor, basically. I don't know about you, but I don't like sitting with my knees above my hips. That's just too low for me. And of course, I like to sit up high so I can look over my hood, but when I was down, <laughs> when I'm down here, I'm like, I can't even see my hood now. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like seeing my dash, just like straight off my dash, and I had to adjust my mirrors and all that, so. But yeah, I had to drive like that all the way to Indy. At first, well, Saturday when I was off, I called a couple, uh, now that I'm low, let me just do this. I called a couple of uh, OS, uh, maintenance shops and asked them what what would have to be done to get this repaired. Uh, a couple of them told me the whole frame needed to be repaired, but they didn't have any in stock. A couple of them told me that uh, you can just replace the bag, but they were on back order. And one of them said they had them in stock uh, or had some on hand, which that one was Indianapolis. So luckily, thankfully, my load that I got was going up to Indianapolis. So I get up there and uh, first the guy says he doesn't have a part. He doesn't have a part. I'm like, dude, I called here, spoke to someone two days ago. And I came here, I didn't come here specifically, but it just happens that I was coming here and y'all said y'all said you had the part. He said, hold on, let me speak to my parts guy. Let me speak to him real quick. So what this parts guy did, he went and got the whole, apparently they didn't, apparently they didn't have the airbag itself, but he had the whole uh, mechanism, the whole cage mechanism. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the bag from this part, put it in your chair, and get you fixed. I'm like, cool. So I went into the weight driver's room, waited probably 35, 45 minutes. Uh, and uh, they come back and say, you're good to go. I'm like, okay. So I had air back in my truck. I got my airbag fixed. I had air in my seat. But I notice it's lowering. I, I, I raised back up. But it's lowering too often. So uh, I'm not going to deal with the seating because I don't feel like it. Tomorrow, I'm going to go to the shop here in Charlotte. And ask them to uh, check check the uh, the connections, you know, crank them down a little bit. I don't want to over torque them. I don't want to do anything to it, so I might mess it up. 
I don't think I have any. I do have some wrenches. I might just do it myself. I don't know. The seat just lifts up. I can look down there and do it myself. I'll check it, <clears throat> do some testing, and if it works great. If not, then I'm at a, I'm at a shop that can fix it. So, but yeah, I have had a worked eight days. Um, not not a long week. It's just it's just been uh, short days, you know. It's and and I've been running steady, so it's not like I'm setting. I did have to set for about an hour this morning. I was in uh, Martinsville, Martinsville, Virginia, <clears throat> and I had to do a because yesterday I picked up a. Um, a tractor supply load from Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. That load went to Martinsville, Virginia. And then while I was going there, <clears throat> they gave me a little, little small thing to pick another one up at the same place I was dropping off, pick up a load there and take it to a tractor supply store for this morning eight o'clock it's like 30 pounds total but it had to be a live load this morning at eight o'clock so i did that and then and i parked a, a pilot five miles from it so i went back to that pilot and i waited for about an hour and then i was like thinking i was like oh let me just see if i can't get um maybe i like i'm not sick i'm still waiting for a load maybe it's pretty slow in freight so how about i just go to an oc so i can uh so i can um go ahead and do my reset so how about i was like you know Carla, uh, charlotte's 130 miles from me Carlisle's 350 miles from me. Obes is 420 miles from me. Can, can I get can I get to a can I get to an OC so I can take advantage of our amenities? You know, showers and la well, laundry more specifically. Because I'm uh, I think I think this is my last outfit I have that can be worn. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do some laundry for sure. I'm gonna wash everything. Two five three one two two five three one two. Yeah. So. But as he, but as he, I, I, I sent him an email. He was it, was, it was busy on the phone lines for him. So, as he uh, was calling me, I had got my new assignment. <laughs> it, it, I was like, I was like, whoa, did you do this? Say, like, well, sorry, I can't take credit. But uh, is that like, we'll just say I did. I'm like, okay, well, so what it was, I wound up being a, a, a Purina load picked up in Martinsville. And uh, bring it down here, bring it down to uh, Tractor Supply in Charlotte, 12 miles away from the OC. I was like, perfect. So I got paid to get down here to go. But get this, at this Purina load, they load me. There's a scale. There's a, they have a scale on something. I don't trust these company scales. I just never do, never have. <clears throat> and I've never been to this place before, so I really didn't even know the scale was there. I didn't pay attention to it. But there was a scale, uh, uh, a Circle K, about four and a half miles away. So I immediately... When you get a heavy load, I said the bill said forty-five thousand. When you get a heavy load, you always go to the closest scale to you to get weighed. You got to get weighed. They weighed me eighty thousand nine hundred and fifty pounds. Eighty thousand. If you're wondering why that's a big deal, because the max you're allowed to be gross weight total vehicle plus load eighty thousand pounds. 12,000 pounds max on your drives, 34,000 pounds max on your drive tires, 34,000 pounds max on your trailer tandems. 80,000 pound gross. So I emailed my leader, I said, this load's overweight. I sent him a screenshot and I went back to that place. I was like, all right, no worries. You must be who I just got the email about. I was like, oh, I emailed you already, huh? I was like, cool. So they popped the, they popped the seal, opened it up, took one of the pallets off. I said, like, how much one of those pallets weigh? It's a bunch of corns, what it was, corn feed. Uh, he's, he's like, a waste of time. I'm like, what well, two thousand pounds? That ought to do it. No worries. So they, they take that pallet off, put a new seal on it, and I'm on my way. I go back. I, this time I did use the scales there, and that was seventy eight five or seventy eight six, something like that, judging by their scales. Then I get to the same cat scales. I went to you know an hour ago or an hour prior. Then uh, yes, uh, the weight was the same. So I had to move the tandems a little bit. To balance the loads to make sure I have less than 34 on my drives and less than 34 on my tandems um, because those are the two axles that you're really adjusting when you're changing sliding your tandems to adjust the weight I got I got it down but both of them were like 33 4 33 2 I got a screenshot but I'm recording my phone right now so but anyway we got it good down here in Charlotte dropped it off and now I'm here at the OC in Charlotte gonna be here till Monday morning so 
It has, like I said, it's been, it's, been a, it's been a good week. Been a good week. And I love the fall too, man. I love the fall weather. I love the fall weather. And I've been on the east for the first time in a few weeks. And the foliage, the colors through Virginia, through North Carolina, oh, so beautiful. That's why I love West Virginia is the mountains and the colors and the fall and the spring. Oh, I absolutely love it. So, yeah, there, that's, but I also, where the nights are cool, I just get back and I like to, I, I like to get cold and I snug up, you know, get all comfort up and get snug as a bug in a rug, right? Problem is, I'm hard to wake up because I'm sleeping so good because of the fall. Now, what I don't like, I don't like the daylight at eight at nine o'clock in the morning or being dark at seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And I don't like it being dark at five o'clock. So... The longer we go into the year, the shorter the days are going to be, the less daylight we have. That's what I absolutely hate because daylight savings, I think, shouldn't be a thing. They got to just get rid of it. Be done. Leave it where it's at right now. Because it, when they change it, it's going to be dark at 5 o'clock p.m. And that's just horrible. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, that's done me rambling. Uh, overall, good week. 2,450 miles. Made some money. Got some bonuses coming. It's even better. I like it. And I uh, appreciate all you guys. I mean, all you guys, people, y'all message me, ask me questions, your comments. Uh, uh, the interaction with you guys has been awesome, amazing. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.